Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary Boot, the Hunts Fan TV, man. Back at another video at the content of this video. Go ahead and smash that like button at the content of this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look. All right, so obviously I missed yesterday. Personal things came up. You know, it happens. It's life. Uh, what have you. But we all good. Uh, so listen, man. We got to talk about uh, Marlon Humphrey and then um, what that means for favors going forward. Uh, but I want to talk about a little bit about yesterday's training camp. I didn't see everything because, like I said, you know, st stuff came up. But uh, I saw Zay Flowers was great in one on ones again, pretty much uncoverable, making guys miss. Um, he looks like the type of guy where you leave him one on one, the defender's not going to have much of, a much of a chance to stay in front of him. Uh, so the Ravens might get a lot of zone coverage played against them because you got OBJ, you got Zay, great separators. And then if Rashad Bateman can get back to what he was, you know, if the injury's not bad enough. He was a good separator in man coverage as well. So the Ravens might have to face a lot of zone this year, right? And just because also the threat of Lamar Jackson, teams are going to want to keep eyes on Lamar Jackson at all times. So the Ravens had truly have a good receiving core. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll see how it pans out from this point on. But I like how the receiving core is looking. Um, other than that, uh, I know that the defensive line was, was pretty good yesterday. Had some good pressures. Uh, Ojabo Oway was getting after the quarterback, and that um, on offense for the Ravens at least that it was kind of another mixed day a little bit for Lamar Jackson. Some some underthrows. Uh, I saw one where uh, Odell had beat Brent. Uh, not not I'm on Brent Forbes. That's, that's a whole different sport. Had beat Emmanuel Forbes on a double move, and the ball was just like it was underthrown. You know, and allowed Forbes to break it up. So uh, to me, that's time and stuff. Getting getting used to the receivers and stuff like that. So. Um, I think Lamar get that, get that, all that cleaned up. But besides that, I heard he was pretty good on the day. He had a couple, old, like I said, a couple underthrows. But besides that, he was pretty good on the day. So that's all I really got from yesterday. Like I said, I couldn't really pay attention to it too much. But anyway, the the big news of yesterday was the fact that um, Ravens Pro Bowl cornerback Marlon Humphrey is going to miss the first couple games of the season. Now, how many is the first couple games of the season? You know, couple could mean two, could mean three, could mean four. You know, who knows, right? Um, so the Ravens already had a massive problem at quarterback. This obviously did not help. So the Ravens are now kind of back to where uh, 2021, you remember when the Ravens had all the injuries everywhere on the team, but especially at places like cornerback. And we had guys, you know, no offense to him, but like Robert Jackson out there, um, just kind of guys you was pulling off of, you know, the street, honestly. And, you know, that's kind of how it was in that season. I remember when we played the Packers that year, and Robert Jackson, he was wearing 17. He was going up against Devontae Adams. Um, not necessarily a fair matchup, right? But it was where the Ravens were at at that point in time. And they still almost won that game, right? They was they was very close. Went for two at the end of the game. Didn't get it. All right. Um, this year, they're kind of in the same spot, right? Rocky Scene went down. That John Harbaugh said he'll be back soon. So with him going down, the team was one Marlon Humphrey injury away from being a, a a poor unit. And now that Marlon Humphrey injury has occurred, right? Uh, which is weird because I believe that day, the day it happened, he, he talked at the podium, right? So it didn't seem like anything was wrong or that there was any indication that, hey, look, Marlon Humphrey has an injury. So maybe kind of just popped up on him, I don't know. Um, but it's unfortunate for the Ravens because they didn't really invest fully in a cornerback position, right? Now, they signed Rocky Scene, cheap guy, great. They were in for Darius Slay. It didn't happen. If they signed Slay, they probably don't sign Odell Beckham. It's a whole chain of effects kind of thing. So, you know, I, I'm not going to say that they missed the opportunity on that. You know, it is what it is. Darius Slay said anyway, he wanted to go back to the Eagles if they gave him the same kind of deal the Ravens got, and they did. So, all right. Where the Ravens are at now is the fact that they got to hope that some of these guys come back from injury. So you got to hope Rocket Team is back soon. They say he would be. You got to hope that Jalen Armour Davis is back soon. They said he would be. Now, Arthur uh, Marlette, the, the new guy that they signed from um, you know Pittsburgh a couple weeks ago, um, he got injured. You got to hope he comes back. So the Ravens are in a wait and see bowl at every spot. They signed a couple of guys that have been practice squad guys, um, you know, haven't really played many snaps. But then they signed a Tay Hayes. He used to play for the Lions. Um, then they signed somebody else uh, yesterday who played play for the Bears last year. So they got a kind of lot of, a lot of random people playing quarterback right now, right? And if we look at the Ravens first, they said the first couple games of the year, right? 
so I'm going to say the first three games, right? We hope that my uncle comes back week four, right? That's that, that's that's where I'm setting to that. You got the Texans with the rookie QB. I think the Ravens can get after the rookie QB. Uh, Texas receiving core is um, is young. It's, it's, it's so-so. It's nothing that's, um, to me, that's too scary. You know what I mean? They have some guys out there, but if they can get the CJ Stroud, the Ravens can cause massive problems. It's going to be CJ Stroud, obviously, his first game of his career. They can get after him. So, okay, I'm not too worried about that. Week two, Bengals. And obviously, that's the big one right there. So, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins. Joe Burrow throwing the football. That's the game where it's like, all right, Marlon Humphrey being up for these first couple of games of the year is really going to be felt. The last time Joe Burrow played against a depleted Ravens secondary, um, you know, was that season, and he ended up lighting us up and whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, in Cincinnati, they scored like, I don't know what, 40, 40, 50 points. I don't even remember, but whatever. So, do I think it'll be a repeat of that? No, I'm not going to bang on a repeat of that. But, it's the simple fact that the Ravens are in a position where they don't have any cornerbacks that can match up with who the guys that the Bengals got on the other side, right? Especially if this Rocky scene injury that, that they're kind of being mysterious about lingers on. If he plays, I mean, that, that'll be better for the Ravens. It's still not full strength, obviously, but it'll be better. Week three, you got the Colts. So you get another rookie quarterback. Quarterback, excuse me. Uh, you get Anthony Richardson. It's going to be his third game of his career. I think the Ravens could get after Anthony Richardson, just how they can get after C.J. Stroud. But Anthony Richardson has another athletic element that the Ravens got to keep him in the pocket, so that's a whole different story. But um, the Colts have big receivers, big physical receivers, Alec Pierce, Michael Pittman. Then they got a, a, a short, shifty guy in, um, in Josh Down. So they could really, if Anthony Richardson is on point, they really could cause the Ravens issues. Now... I think the Ravens still could come out of that 2-1, and 3-0, and possibly. But the fact that Marlon Humphrey is not out there is going to be a major blow for the team. It's going to mean that this young passers that we've been talking about is going to have to play even better. It means that you know the, the best linebacker duel that we've been talking about is going to have to play even better. Marcus, Will Marcus Williams and Kyle Hamilton over top, they're going to have to be on their game on point because their cornerbacks are going to need their help. Um, it's just interesting because you know last year... It was the wide receivers. It was like, if Bateman goes down, the Ravens are in trouble. We all we all said that. I, I admittedly said that, even though I wanted to see that young wide receiver court get a chance to play, things like that. I knew that if Bateman went down, the Ravens have an issue, right? We're, kind of, we're at the same spot again, except it's on defense and it's cornerback. If Marlon Humphrey goes down, the Ravens have an issue, and Marlon Humphrey went down. So what will they do is the next step, right? They can sign all of these veteran um practice squad, you know, cornerback three, cornerback four kind of guys. That's great to have bodies. But if they want to do anything significant that's going to help the team going forward, they might have to make a trade, right? And now at at this point of the year, who's available is, is uncertain, right? And anybody that you could get that is good, Probably going to cost you a high draft pick, and I don't see Eric DeCosta trading a high draft pick back to back years. I don't, right? So we're talking about third, fourth, fifth round pick, or they might see third as a as, as a high pick. So maybe a fourth, fifth round pick for a guy. How much is that going to help? So honestly, with the Ravens right now, with Marlon Humphrey's injury, they're in a bad spot, and that's just the uh, that's just the honest facts about it. What they do from this point on will be very interesting. How Mike McDonald adjusts from this point on will be very, very interesting. So um, that's my thoughts on it. Um, I hope that Marlon Humphrey injury is, um, you know, minor. I hope that he doesn't rush the recovery, come back too soon, and then he gets hurt again. Now he's done for the year. That's the that's the that's the worst scenario. So I don't want to see that. But I do hope that he can be back maybe week four. Um, I think week four. I think the week four game is Cleveland. Yeah, week four game is Cleveland. So I would love to see my be back for that game, if possible. But uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on it, man. Give me you guys thoughts on the comments on the Ravens situation at cornerback. But I'm gonna get out of here, man. It's Gary Roach on the Fan TV. I'm out.